Oh, hey there. I'm Kuki Shinobu, deputy leader of the Arataki Gang. We offer a wide range of services, including but not limited to transport and logistics, security, home repair, and musical performances. Please feel free to contact me if you need anything. Here's my card. Just let me know if you ever find yourself in a pinch. I can help you out. The criteria for certificate exams are straightforward enough. What it really comes down to is whether you are willing to put in the time. If you study and practice, then it's really not all that difficult. If the Arataki gang stirs up any trouble, I'll drag every last one of them back to apologize. We don't need an umbrella. Just pick up the pace. Be careful. No one wants to get struck by lightning. <sighs> Let's just finish the job and leave. There's no need to waste time. It's a nice day, but I can't seem to shake this strange feeling. <sighs> Let's just hope it's my imagination. <sighs> what a pleasant breeze. Morning. Going out to train? Huh, I didn't know you were so diligent. Hey, what would you like to eat? I've been saving up lately, so lunch is on me. Some commissions are better done by night. I can't trust the gang with such tasks, though, so I usually do them myself. Go ahead and take a rest if you need. Don't worry about me. My primary responsibilities are to bring in business and maintain a stable team. Uh, as well as bailing out the gang from the police station, returning snacks and toys to kids, and catching anyone secretly slacking off during a job. I guess you could say all this extra work comes with being part of the Arataki gang. I suppose that leaders of other groups wouldn't have to put up with that kind of stuff. But then again, no one else could do the job like me. Huh? What would happen if the gang ever disbanded? First of all, that would never happen. Secondly, even if that did happen, I've got nothing to worry about. I've always got a way to make ends meet. Come find me if you ever suddenly want to become certified in anything. I'll lend you all my notes for the exam. Believe me, my notes are detailed enough to help anybody pass. Whether you are in the Arataki gang or not, I'll never treat you as an outsider. Just go ahead and leave the logistics and planning to me. Trust me, I'm an expert. I can handle anything, no matter how complicated it might seem. Uh-huh. You're concerned about my safety? <laughs> Don't worry. All these years of experience aren't just for show. Just like a certificate, this vision is solid proof of my capabilities. <sighs> the only difference is that I'm still not certain about a vision's assessment criteria. I wear a mask because I don't want to be recognized by anybody, especially when I'm working with the Arataki gang. If someone I know manages to recognize me, they're sure to make a big fuss about it. Oh, it gives me a headache just thinking about it. I won't ever let it happen again. <clears throat> Never mind. I came up with the gang bylaws so everyone would have a set of guidelines to follow. Huh? Why are they willing to follow my rules? Because both my words and my fists are very persuasive. There is a saying circulating among the shrines, claiming that if you weave Naku weed into a ring and wrap it around your body, it can dispel disaster and bring good fortune. So, do you believe that? I, however, personally find the plant's paralyzing effect a little more practical. After the Sakoku Decree was lifted, the Raiden Shogun issued many decrees aimed at supporting the development of various industries. All those certificates I received during the Sakoku Decree are coming in real handy now, and the gang is finally out of the red. <laughs> Fate really does have its ways. Who would have thought after all that, I'd still have her to thank. Madam Kujo? Yes, she's a friend of mine. Hm? Huh? You're surprised that I know her? Oh, you must have misunderstood. I knew her from before I joined the Arataki gang. <laughs> In fact, it's hard to tell who's the winner whenever we spar. You can't imagine how boring it is to be a shrine maiden. Even Lady Guji from the Grand Narukami Shrine has her publishing gig to break up the monotony. I will never go back to being a Shrine Maiden. Never. <sighs> the boss has a lot of unpleasant memories from his past, but he still manages to stay positive. I'd say that kind of resilience is pretty rare. He treats us well, and his character has a good effect on everyone in the gang. Of course, it's never an excuse for him to run amuck with no consideration for others. 
Just let me know if he ever causes you any trouble, and I'll be sure to make him regret ever being rude to you. Back then, I had an argument with my family, and I only wanted to run away as far as I could. So, I went to study law in Liyue, but thanks to this experience, I got to meet Yenfei. She's like a walking law encyclopedia. Huh? Me? I have a certificate, but there are a lot of restrictions for practicing law. It's not really the right field for me. Hmm, he's different from the other Doshin of the Tenryo Commission. I have yet to see him on patrol or apprehend anyone, and he occasionally comes to me to buy intelligence. In exchange, I asked him to put in a good word for me whenever I'm bailing people out of the police station. He gladly agreed. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. After all, getting the boys to keep their eyes and ears open on the streets is easy enough. I've worked many different jobs and I'm certified in a variety of fields. In terms of management, I've led a small team and have been responsible for delegating tasks and allocating resources according to... Uh, sorry. Don't mind me. Sometimes I still slip into interview mode. I come from a family of shrine maidens. But I'm not cut out for that kind of work at all. When I ran away from home, I immediately thought I should learn as much as possible to support myself. I studied everything, from cooking, tailoring, and fighting, to legal consulting, publishing, and editing. It wasn't until I really settled into society that I realized I've learned everything I need. Huh? You think I've got good social skills? Well, you could say I've seen a lot of the world by now. I've learned how to read people based on their expressions and body language. Besides, nine times out of ten, it's the gang getting in trouble. I don't mind putting on a face to get us out of a sticky predicament, but I still prefer not to smile. When I first joined the Arataki gang, the boss told me to teach the others how to fight. So the first thing I did was beat them up, one by one. I was a little surprised that even in their bruised and swollen state, they still respectfully called me Shinobu and asked me to lead them. <laughs> At that moment, I knew they really were a big bunch of idiots. But that's fine. Even a group like this won't slow me down. I'll just take care of everything myself. It's my own decision to stay in the Arataki gang. It can be pretty annoying having to clean up their mess all the time. But in return, they treat me with a sincerity that is irreplaceable. They always save the best things for me and never leave me feeling down. When I announced my decision to stay in the gang, they all cheered for me. I know outsiders don't think very highly of the Arataki gang, and the members themselves don't really care what others think. But I still want to strive to change the impression we leave. I might complain about them from time to time as my family, but I'll never let anyone badmouth them. Being in the gang means having lots of free time. I often finish reading a whole book or even pass a certificate exam before I even realize it. Kinda nice, wouldn't you agree? When my family asks about me, at least I can tell them I don't waste my time. And when I go job hunting, I have lots of qualifications to rely on. In this ultra-competitive society, a misfit like myself with all these certificates will never go hungry. Back then, I wanted to avoid getting dragged back to the shrine at all costs, so I had to find a way to stand on my own two feet. So far, I think I'm doing all right. Even after eating something really filling like ramen or gyoza, I still always want to finish my meal with a small bowl of rice. Rice is just delicious, that's all. Is there a problem with that? There's a saying I heard in Liyue. There's no bad food, only bad cooks. After getting my license as a chef, I became even more convinced that this is absolutely true. Hmm, this is truly exceptional. <clears throat> I'll just have another bite. Did you make this? Hmm, you're more than qualified to be a chef. Ugh, honestly, did you use the wrong seasonings? Happy birthday! Here, take this special dart made from Naku weed. Uh, be careful! Yep. That's the way to hold it. Make sure you predict the trajectory before you throw it. <laughs> I'm happy that you like it. Oh, don't treat it like a toy. It's still quite dangerous. If you want to practice a little more, I can teach you. If you haven't mastered the basics, then there's no point in even trying to discuss it. 
That's the purpose of a basic level certificate, to show you actually know something. I have an intermediate certificate, which means that I'm qualified to handle most problems. Is there anything I can help you with? Earning an advanced certificate is not easy. It requires both talent and actual combat experience. Certificates are useful for judging professional skills, but they fail to measure the amount of effort or emotional investment involved. <sighs> Our friendship has gone beyond something that can be expressed with a simple thank you. Let me express my feelings by always giving the very best of my abilities. <laughs>